Hi guys! So today I'm going to be filming a haul for you and I haven't filmed a haul in like three or four months which is a really really long time. I've done a lot of shopping between then but sometimes doing too many hauls is not a good thing. Uh, a lot of people take it the wrong way. So I'm going to show you guys what I bought yesterday and then I went to the drugstore today and got a couple things so I'm going to throw those in there too. Um, it's not anything huge. It's just a couple clothing items because I am going to California next week and so I got a couple of clothing items for there just you know shopping before vacation so the clothing that I got are from Torrid and Dillard so I'm going to show those first first I'll tell you the couple things I got from Dillard's all I got were jeans and um, these are plus size and by the way if you don't know what Torrid is Torrid is a plus size women's clothing store I worked there for like four years almost four years and it is really great if you're looking for really cute trendy plus size clothing I would definitely check out Torrid there's not a ton of them in the country but go to Torrid.com you can see if there's one near you but it's like one of my favorite places to shop and yeah so I'll get to those later but the first thing what I got from Dillard's are two pairs of Levi's which are like my favorite jeans in the entire world like they are amazing and you will not believe the deal that I got on these so first off and I wore these today so um, there might be like wrinkly or whatever. I have like three other pairs of these because they're my favorite jeans ever and yeah it looks like I wear the same jeans like every single day but I really don't. I just have I have a million pairs of the same jeans. So I bought another pair of these and it, since I'm losing weight I got these on a smaller size because my other ones were getting kind of big on me. So these are the uh, skinny 542 jean. So if you go on Levi's website, they should have them. If not, then I would Google them because they, um, I see these in department stores online all the time. But they're basically just like a dark denim wash. And, okay, I don't really know how you can show pants on here, but they're just, they're just long skinny jeans. They get really, um, small at the ankle. And then the backs are just like the classic Levi's. So nothing exciting, just a pair of skinny jeans, but they just fit so comfortably and I absolutely love them. So the other pair of pants that I got are these black pants and, oh, by the way, those were on sale for $12 and they were normally like $48, something like that. I think that's how much I paid for the first pair of those I bought, but those were only $12, which is insane. And these were $17.49, which is like crazy, but these are just black ones. Uh, it's the same exact thing. They're the, um, well, I guess these are called the legging, but to me they fit the same. But they're just black. They get tight at the bottom. They're just black pants, and the back, again, looks like that. It has, like, the, um, Levi logo. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. If you are plus size and are looking for a good fitting pair of jeans, I would try Levi's. Just a warning though, they do run really, really, really small. I don't think it's just the plus size ones. I think it's Levi's in general I've heard run small and yeah, I have to go up a size in the Levi's because they're small because they're really low rise. So if you're not into low rise, I don't know. I would still check them out, but they're amazing quality. They're I mean awesome like I would totally recommend them and then I got a couple things from Torrid just shirts this like I said this isn't like a huge haul the first thing is this like tank top cami sort of thing and it's just really pretty for the summertime it's just floral it's got um kind of like ruffling right here and it cinches at the waist so it's like an empire waist type shirt which I love those are like my favorite it's like flowy on the bottom I think these are really really flattering so there's like a close-up of the pattern and this was uh, $28.50 and I really 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 miss my employee discount because it was amazing it saved me lots of money uh, then the last clothing item I got is this black and white striped shirt which I know a lot of you are going to say that horizontal stripes are really really unflattering and they make you look wider than you really are especially if you're already wide like me you probably shouldn't be wearing stripes but this shirt is really really cute and I love it 
and I tried it on the store so um, but yeah it's got like big chunky stripes in the front and then on the sleeves see how it's like different sizes and the back the back looks like this just like thinner stripes so it's really like geometrical and I thought this with the black skinny pants would look so cute together with like a black pair of flats or black sandals or something so I'm definitely excited to wear this when I go to California which I'm so excited about I can't wait um, and then so that's all for clothing I got nothing too crazy and then I also went to Sephora yesterday I got one thing we were so exciting by the way I was gonna get the Urban Decay 15th anniversary palette but it was sold out and they hadn't even put it on display yet I guess they're not allowed to put it on display until the 15th so I don't know if you're like dying for that I would definitely order it online or something I think that's what I'm gonna do but I feel like it's gonna turn into like the naked palette where everyone wants it and it's sold out everywhere and I do not want that to happen so the only thing I got from Sephora is the Makeup Forever Aqua Cream, and this is actually the first Makeup Forever product that I've ever bought, and this is in the color 5, and if you don't know what an aqua cream is, you can use it on your cheeks, well there's different ones, this one is for the cheeks and the lips, so it's a really versatile product, and it's waterproof, and I tried it on the store on my hand, and I could not get it off, even with like a makeup remover, it was difficult to get off. This is what the packaging looks like. It's like in a little tub and it's just this really pretty pink shimmery. I used it once. Um, I don't know if you can tell but it's just really shimmery and corally pink but I don't know it's a really pretty color. Kind of reminds me of NARS's Deep Throat blush but in a aqua cream and I haven't tried this yet. Um, really I put it over my makeup so I couldn't really tell so um, once I try this I will definitely tell you how I like it but it seems like a really awesome product and I'll, I'll swatch it for you obviously I would have to blend it out but that's what it looks like so I'm excited to try this and kind of see how makeup forever is and then last but not least I went to Walgreens and I just got a couple things first I got the Revlon color stay 12 hour eyeshadow this is like what I used in my uh, back to school tutorial and this is in a new color and this was on sale I think these are regular like eight or nine dollars and this was on sale for $5.99 and then for whatever reason my Walgreens was having like a two dollar off any Revlon product Revlon color stay product when you buy it at the beauty register I don't know but I so I bought these I haven't tried them out but it's got really really pretty colors in it I'm really excited for the purple it kind of looks like it's like a duochrome but yeah this is in the color sunrise sunset it's a new color too so got that and then I got the Milani liquify eyeliner in the color black and I have never tried these so I don't know how it works but I've heard a lot of really good things about about them so I was really curious to try them and I'm running low on my Urban Decay 24 7 pencil so I decided that I would try a cheaper alternative rather than buying another Urban Decay one so yeah I got that and if I like it I'll tell you guys how I like it because I'm sure a lot of people will be curious about it next couple things I got were nail polishes and I drove so many places trying to find this one and this is the Milani gold glitter it's like really 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 chunky gold glitter and I'm so excited to paint this on my nails. And then the last thing is a Sally Hansen HD nail polish in the color DVD. And it's like a duochrome purpley purpley-blue glittery. I don't really know, but it's really cool. And so I had to get this. And yeah, that is it for my haul. I didn't get too much, nothing too exciting, but I figured I hadn't done it in a long time and I've had a few requests to do them. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any requests or any questions, let me know. Follow me on Twitter and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.